Hi, Lyle Scott here coming to you from the Home Ministry House of Missions and Equipping. We've uh, talked and we just want to send out some short video clips. So the question that was raised, how do you stay connected when we're being called to isolation? So yeah, I just feel like uh, we're going to send out um, some video segments. We're going to do some other things <clears throat> through social media. We're going to stay connected. And even when we pray or send out little video clips, read scripture and pray, if you join in, and just say yes in your heart and in your spirit and pray along with whoever is doing the videos, uh, the prayers will be multiplied. So just encourage you as we do these short video clips to stay connected. I'm going to read out of Joel chapter 1 and 2 a little bit today, and I'm just going to pray for this uh, crisis that's in the land for the coronavirus to end. But we just want to respond rightly as a people. We want our hearts to respond rightly. So. Joel chapter 1, I encourage you to read this. We're going to read this as a family, Joel chapter 1 and 2. Joel chapter 1 is there's crisis in, in the land. I'm going to read a couple of verses. Uh, verse 2, has anything like this ever happened in your days or in the days of your fathers? So yeah, we talked about this as a family. We've never seen anything like this. My parents have never seen anything like this. So uh, just talking about the Lord's getting everybody's attention. The Lord has stopped uh, NBA, March Madness, all these things. He's put the country, he's put the nations of the world on hold for this moment. And verse 10, the fields are ruined, the grounds are dried up, the grain is destroyed. Despair, you farmers, wail, O vine growers. And he's just talking about the mourning, uh, the devastation that happened in Joel's day. Uh, to the fields. The farmers uh, were just being, the locusts were consuming. The, the, farmers were, the farmers were just getting blasted. The fields were ruined. So just the crisis in the land, it affected the economy, it affected the, the, the literal farms, and, and it just had a ripple effect even to the, the house of the Lord was not being cared for. And uh, chapter 2, so what's our response in the midst of crisis? How are the people to respond? What is the Lord looking for in response? Joel chapter 2, verse 12, Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all of your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart, not your garments. Return to the Lord, for he's gracious, compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love, and he relents from sending calamity. And who knows, maybe he'll turn and have pity and leave a blessing, a grain offering or a drink offering from the Lord. So the charge is just to return to the Lord with all of our hearts. In verse 18, then after the Lord sees the rending of our hearts, after he sees the turning, after he sees the repenting, the Lord says, verse 18, then the Lord will be jealous for his land and he'll take pity on his people. So yeah, we just want to respond rightly. And if you go on and read in Joel chapter 2, it talks about the Lord will pour out his spirit on all flesh. So we believe that this is a, a divine opportunity for Americans to stand up and arise with families and even in isolation and staying connected with others and that we would gather together, if that's in groups of five or ten or whatever we're allowed to do, that we would seek the Lord, that we would turn to him, that we would repent for the sins of our nations, uh, the, the, the sins that, that we are just basically uh, staying in agreement like, Lord, we repent for the homosexual, uh, same-sex marriage that the Supreme Court did that. We repent for abortion in our land. And whatever the Holy Spirit leads you to repent from, as a nation, we're going to just turn to the Lord. We're going to repent. We're going to seek Him with all of our hearts. And I believe that Scripture is true, that truth will prevail, that the Lord will send a blessing behind this. And I believe that He's going to draw people to Himself through this crisis. So would you pray with me? Lord, I just pray right now, Lord, as, as many are watching this and we are in isolation, Lord, these prayers are multiplied through the yes. So through the yes of agreement, Lord, where, where we agree in prayer for anything, Lord, we come together and, Lord, we ask that you would forgive us for the sins of this nation, Lord. Forgive us for turning from you. Uh, forgive us, Lord, for uh, turning to the gods of this age and gods of this world, Lord. And Lord, I just pray right now, Lord, that we would, uh, as a people, turn to you with all of our hearts, that we would seek you, Lord, seek your face in this time, and that, that you would come, Lord, and that you would hear our prayer. You say that, that you will hear the cries of your people, 
And Lord, you will come, you'll have pity, Lord, when you hear our cries and you'll, you'll come and you'll release a blessing, Lord. So I just pray, Lord, that right now as a people, we would turn our hearts to you, even as family units, that we would gather and seek your face right now in this season. And Holy Spirit, just hear the cries of your people, Lord. And I just pray for a speedy end to, to the coronavirus, that the spreading um, would, would end today, Lord. That there would be a shift, there would be a change as you hear the posturing of your heart, our hearts. That we would rend our hearts even now. That you would stop the spreading of this virus. And Lord, I just pray that you would come and that you would meet each one of us right here. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys. Just encourage you to take the opportunity to spend time in prayer with your family units and just gather and seek his face in this hour. God bless you guys. There's more videos to come.